Next up, Hull City come to town, the Lions v Tigers. But we will be without a player that has adapted to life in a Millwall shirt very, very well so far. He will be missing in action this weekend. Hello, welcome back to my channel. This is my pre-match prediction for our game this weekend in beautiful South Bermondsey as the Tigers come to town, of course, managed by young English coach Liam Rossini. And since taking charge of the Tigers, he's done pretty well. He's done pretty well. Um, I've always liked Liam Rossini, really. Um, he's a young, vibrant, English coach learning the ropes in management um, and good luck to him but let's hope we can put a stop to that this weekend as the Tigers come to town um, look Liam Messina has got them playing some good attractive uh, um, attacking style of football and I like the way he takes risks I like the way he plays the game um, because I think that's how the game should be played but um, look Hull City started the season relatively well um, I think they were top of the league after about two three games I think they were floating in and around the top six I think some championship fans maybe had them down as a um, playoff contender and I, I think they could be I think they could be um, but they're not this um, I'm just going off of the game in in the week on Tuesday. They're not going coming into this game filled with that much confidence. Um, they did lose three nil Tuesday night against against newly promoted another team that is flying Ipswich Town. Um, so look, they're not coming into this game um, on the best of form. Um, they're not in the worst of form. They're sitting ninth. Um, two, three points above us. Um, but we'll, a win for <coughs> sorry, a win for the Lions will see them climb into the top six. The crazy world of football. Um, um, there is a problem though. There is a problem. Um, a player that has started the season very well, very well in a variety of different positions for Millwall Football Club is going to be ineligible to play. Of course, I'm talking about Ryan Longman. Ryan Longman will be ineligible to play. So, what will the gaffer do? Will he just, will he just throw someone um, like for like in there? Maybe like a, I don't know, a Duncan Watmore. There's rumours that um, Tom Brushill will be back. But like I said, that's why I'm not a manager and I leave them tough decisions to the gaffer himself um, yeah like I said if we win um, at the weekend we actually can climb into the top 6 um, but look it's going to be a hard game they've got some good players um, of course I'm talking about Aaron Connolly um, John McKell Siri um, they've got some very good players very good players and um Liam Messina is doing a good job with them this season. So let's hope we can put a stop to that in SC16 this weekend. Um, can I see it happening? Weirdly, weirdly I can. Weirdly I can. Um, I would go with an unchanged side because obviously that worked. So I would go with an unchanged side. Um, obviously Ryan Longman has... has Got to be dropped out through default. He is not playing. Um, he will not be involved with the squad at all due to um, us playing his parent club, um, which um, we're going to need to fill that void. But if we if we bottled that second half performance that we played and had against 
um, Plymouth Argyle on Tuesday, we could go some way to get some sort of result. But um, I think I'm going to stick... I'm going to... I don't know. I don't know because it's always hard in it when Mill will come off the back of a win. We're always after them to back it up. Um, so let's see if we can. Um, but I'm going to go with us. I'm going to I'm going to go with the points to be shared. I'm going to go with what am I going to go with here? What am I going to go with here? I'm going to go with Hold up, let's have a little think first. Um how are not coming into this game off the back of a win so they're going to come here with a point to prove they love the ball they play some good attacking stuff um but i'm going to go with us to give it a go but um how city just about um standing our way shall we say um so i'm going to go with Millwall two whole city two with our goal scorers being Jan fleming and and I want to see Cooper score. I want to see Cooper score. Um, he hadn't scored for what seems like years. So, Zian Fleming, Jake Cooper. And I'm going to go with Millwall to Hull City to The player to watch for them will probably be Alan, Alan, um, Aaron Connolly. Um, would that be a good result? Yeah. Um, uh, yeah and no, because we got to win our home games. Um but small steps on the road to recovery. I would love that. I would love us to win it. So let's hope this prediction is wrong. But one more time, I'm going to go with Hull City two, Millwall two, or round the other way. Um, so yeah, if you know what, if you think you know what this score is going to be, please don't be shy to drop it in the comments below, and I will see you there. If you're going, um, yeah, coming you lights.